Now I'd like to show you the popcorn stitch. I've worked um, some foundation rows here to be worked in just for the demonstration, but I have worked them with a size I Susan Bates crochet hook. Now before I turn, I'm going to chain one. I'm going to pull up a loop here and I'm just doing this to show you how important this is. You need to change to a larger size hook. So I'm going to bump it up one size to a size J hook. The reason being is that the stitch I'm going to show you tends to pull tightly. So if you don't change hook sizes, your work is going to be pulled in that section. It's going to look smaller than the rest of your work. So you do need to bump up the needle. If um, going up one size doesn't quite do it for you the, in the way that you crochet, always make sure you do a small gauge and you may have to go up two sizes. Okay, now I'm going to turn. I'm going to single crochet in the first. I'm going to go through both loops. Single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to skip the next stitch. And the next single crochet going through both loops, I'm going to work four single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so now I have four single crochets. I pull up a loop here. I'm going to put my needle, I'm going to reinsert it into the first, the first single crochet of this cluster. I'm going to put that loop over the hook and pull it through. Yarn over the back of the hook and I'm going to do one chain. I've completed one popcorn. I'm going to skip this next stitch. I'm going to put a single crochet in the next one. Now I'm going to chain one. Now I will mention that there are many variations on the popcorn stitch. This is just the one that I prefer to use a lot. But um, feel free to experiment as you will. Um, but anyway, for the next, I'm going to skip the next stitch. I'm going to work a popcorn the next single crochet. We'll just repeat what we just did. One, two, three, four single crochets there. Pull up a loop, reinsert the hook back into the first single crochet of that cluster. Put the loop on the hook. Pull it. You want to pull it, you know, to the normal tension. You don't want to pull this this um, this stitch up here, this chain one, too tightly because you are going to be working back in that chain one come the next row. So if you pull it really, really snugly, it's going to be really hard getting your needle in there. Okay, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next one, chain one. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to work a popcorn in the next stitch, which is one, two, three, four single crochets, pull up the loop, again reinsert in the first single crochet of this cluster, yarn, put the loop over the hook, pull it through, chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet in this one, chain one, skip the next stitch, popcorn here, one, Two, three, four. Pull up a loop. Insert the hook in the first stitch of the cluster. Yarn over. Pull it through. Yarn over. Okay. Skip one. Skip this stitch here. Single crochet in this one. Chain one. Skip this stitch. Work four popcorn. Two three, four. Again, putting the needle in the first single crochet of the cluster. Yarn over, pull through, chain one. Skip this stitch. And a single crochet here. And then I'm going to put a single crochet in the last stitch of the row. Um, Sometimes that will this first stitch will be the last stitch, sometimes not, so you can always fill in with an extra stitch should you need. Just remember if you do that you need to also single crochet in these extra stitches, okay? I'm gonna chain one and I'm going to I'm going to single crochet in this 
chain that's at the top of the popcorn of the previous row. Put a single crochet there, chain one. Now, this one's a little harder to see, but if you look here, there's a, a chain one that was above the single crochet from the previous row. I'm going to put a single crochet there, chain one. So you'll see a pattern emerging here. We're going to single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, all the way across the row. Our next single crochet goes in the top of the popcorn. Top of the pop. Oops, let me show it to you first. It's popcorn, the chain, on top of the popcorn. Chain one. Now this chain that's in between the popcorns, we put the next single crochet there. And chain one. Again, top of the popcorn. Chain one. In between the popcorns goes the next. These are kind of hard to see. Use your thumb and, and, and little finger to, to feel where the needle should go. Next one goes in top of the popcorn. Chain one. Next one goes between the popcorns, which is right there. Chain one. It's really important that you get them in the right place because this will help it to look more even. Okay, chain one. Now we have one more between the popcorns here. Now I'm not going to chain one at the end because there's just one stitch left. If I chained one and then put a single crochet here, that would add a stitch. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to single crochet in the last stitch, chain one turn. Okay, so we see one row of popcorn stitches. Now the next row of popcorns that we're going to do is going to be, they're going to emerge in between in between the popcorns in the chain one stitches here. So if you have a you know visual idea of where you're going with it, it can make the stitch come out better. Okay, to start with though, I'm going to single crochet the first stitch, chain one. Now since I'm going to be right above the popcorn here, I'm going to just put another single crochet in that chain one stitch, chain one. Now I'm going to be working in between the popcorn stitches. So I'm going to put a popcorn in the next chain one stitch. One, two, three, four stitches. Pull up a loop. Insert hook like we did before into the first stitch. Pull the loop through. Chain one. Now you've got your popcorn. Single crochet. The next chain one. Now we're going to be working in between two popcorns here again. So we're going to work a popcorn there. One, two, three, four. Pull up a loop, start hook in, pull the loop through, yarn over, chain one. Now we're going to go right from that chain one that's at the top of the popcorn right into a single crochet into the next chain one stitch. And chain one, working between two popcorns again, so we're going to put a popcorn in between them. One, two, three, four. Needle in the first stitch, pull the loop through, chain one. And I'm going to put a single crochet in the next chain one loop, and chain one. One more popcorn here. One, two, three, four right into a single crochet into the next chain one stitch. And chain one. Work in between two popcorns again, so we're going to put a popcorn in between them. One, two, three, four. Needle in the first stitch, pull the loop through, chain one. And I'm going to put a single crochet in the next chain one loop. And chain one. One more popcorn here. One, two, three, four. And you can see the next chain one loop here. It's not quite on top of the popcorn, but it's close. And we're going to chain one. And we have one chain, one chain one left. We're going to go ahead and work a popcorn there. One. Two, three, four, chain one, 
And then we're going to put a single crochet in the last stitch. And chain one for our turn. Before we turn, I'm just going to show you show you the popcorn stitch. Now we could go through this uh, again. Uh, we would just be repeating row two. Um, but I'll, I'll do that for you in just a second. I just wanted to show you, see how the raised texture of the stitch is? This is a really nice stitch for a whole host of projects. Okay, I'm chain one and turn. I'm going to work row four for you. I'm going to single crochet in the first stitch, single crochet on top of the popcorn chain, then I'm going to chain one. Again, we're looking for the chain one holes, which are right here. Very easy to feel. It might be a little more challenging to see. Okay, we chained one. Now we're going to work on top of this popcorn. Single crochet in there. Chain one. And the next, the next chain one is very close, right here. Single crochet there. Chain one. Now we're singling single crocheting on top of the popcorn right there. Chain one. In between the stitches, single crochet and chain one. Again, on top of the popcorn right here. Chain one. Again, in between the stitches. Chain one. On top of the popcorn. Chain one in between the stitches. You can chain one, and then you have another chain one here. And then I would just simply single crochet in the last stitch. And chain one, turn. Okay. So there you have the popcorn stitch. Don't forget, when you go back to working other rows, such as single crochet, double crochet rows, or really any other stitch, don't forget to go back and change your hook size, because you are working with the larger size hook. Make sure you, you're going to change. Go back to the smaller hook. Enjoy your popcorn.